Yo, it's Lando, and it's the Hip Hop Lab, and this is the history of the Shorty Low and T.I. Beef. And to get into it, we gotta take it back to how it all started from the very beginning. Tell me how like this shit got started, man. What was like the first strike? Cause a lot of times shit be shit be happening before people even realize this shit going on. You know what I mean? Actually, like you know, it started probably about like uh, let me see, what is it? Oh, eight? I think it was two thousand seven. Um, yeah, probably around about February, March of uh, oh seven. I had a song called Let's Get It. That, uh, T Lap would got on. <laughs> And uh, I guess he heard I had a King song in the street. He didn't get on it, but I was cool about it. It, wasn't, it didn't make no difference. He got on it that. So he came back on that song, Big Shit Pop, and sent a shout out to me. So I said I was King, and the, and the lane started laughing at him. Saying, Suck a nail, the King on the track with him. So that way it started. As he did that, I made Dun Dun. Dun Dun it all. Since he ain't called my name, I ain't called his name. You know, I ain't want to think I was going there, because, you know. I was just starting my shit up, so I just, you know, I made down to the people in the South knew what I was talking about, you know. Shortly after they traded jabs on songs, T.I. was arrested on federal gun charges right before the BET Awards in 2007. Hours before he was to take the stage at the BET Hip Hop Awards, federal agents say rapper T.I. arranged to purchase machine guns and silencers. Agents with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives arrested the Grammy winner at a shopping center blocks away from the venue. Word of the arrest spread quickly along the red carpet. I heard his name too, and I don't think I didn't get a chance to find out though. Oh, okay, because I know he's supposed to perform tonight as well. Yeah, that's sad though. T.I., whose real name is Clifford Harris, was nominated in nine categories. He was supposed to headline the award show, but remained in federal custody. T.I. didn't do the time that the streets expected him to do with the amount of guns that he got caught with, and that was the ammunition that Shorty Lowe needed to push on with his campaign. You understand what I'm saying? Let me get, let me get to you right here right quick, man. Mike Vick ain't never been locked up a day in his life. Never, not one day in his life. And that man got time for some dogs. Dog fight. Tickets caught all kind of guns. Convicted theft. American service. Go serve a year later on. You can't buy your way out of the fed. I ain't never seen nobody. You got billionaires in the fed. You got all kind of Migos and Colombians. Must it with the jail. You got all kind of folks now. Only way out of the feds, man, is you what? Talk. This was the very first time that T.I. mentioned Shorty Low on such a huge scale as MTV. Considering everything you're going through, yeah. when you have a new artist like Shorty Low who's causing friction with you, he's obviously calling you out. <laughs> you know, he's obviously challenging the throne. Yeah, I hear you. Know. Which, in my opinion, is if you much, could call it that. Well, you know, it's it's not much different from what you probably would have did coming into the game, mm. if you think about it. Nah, <laughs> I mean, I never, I never looked to gain acknowledgement or recognition mm -hmm. by mentioning anyone else's name. If it was an issue with me and another person, it was an issue with me and another person. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a publicity stunt or a marketing tool. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, that's not even, man, that's nowhere, that's nowhere near my train of thought right now. Really? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, back when that was my train of thought, mm -hmm. we didn't have these problems. Mm -hmm. But since, you know, it's well known that that ain't what I'm on right now, mm -hmm. then I mean, you know, it's easy to make those comments and take that approach. Mm -hmm. You know, but... You see it as competition? You are, you don't have to take it first. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Cop <Couple> who? Competition. <laughs> man, that was funny. Okay. Nah, man. Nah. I, man, I mean, I see it as, man, it's, it's a cry for attention, dog. Mm -hmm. It's a cry for attention. But I mean, dog, I mean, at the end of the day, man, Units in the city, in stores right now, go get it. You know what I'm okay. saying? Hey, that's all, that's what that's for. So maybe now. Mm -hmm. I'd never been in a position where I felt like if this person don't mention my name, I will just die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If this person just don't acknowledge me, he's so significant. If mm -hmm. he says my name, I'll be straight. Mm -hmm. I've never put myself in that position. I went for mine and made people say my name. This prompted him to go on to have you seen T.I. 
campaign trying to prove he really wasn't from Bowen Homes or Bankhead. I swear, man, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm a YouTuber, right? I'm gonna I'm 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 go, I'm gonna do an interview for you. Yeah, okay, it's an interview for YouTube right now, cause I know it might be on YouTube. Look, if anybody know T.I., I know everybody at his school or high school didn't really like him. So I got a reward, man, if y'all send me the, the yearbook pictures or something that's showing where he's from, man, I will pay y'all personally, man, you know what I'm saying? I got a check for you. Okay, my sister, her number is 770-771-4222. I repeat, 770-771-4222. Call her, her name's Rico, man. If y'all got any, any information on where T.I. went to school, that the yearbook, or where he grew up at, man, you know what I'm saying? We trying to find out, man, where he from, man. Have you seen him? It's L.O. I'm Mr. Bankhead. Must be two sides. Tell me he don't know me. Come on, man. Hey, you seen T.I. on Bankhead? I ain't seen that little bit of that nigga, man. T.I. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, man. I know he's from Center Hill, though. Yeah, I don't believe that. I ain't seen him. Hey, you seen T.I. on Bankhead, man? I ain't never seen him. That's all I want, though. See on Bankhead every day. That's right, Lope. Let's get it, baby. This one original from Bankhead, man. You know what I'm saying? We won't know, man. How you seen T.L.? How you seen him? Y'all gonna try to keep talking about y'all mic, man. Come on. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
where he grew up in and where he rode, rode before he became a huge artist. Just to, just to show people and prove a point that don't believe what you, what, you, what you see on TV, don't believe what you hear on a rap record or whatever. And it's just basically him just making a point of what's going on and what's being said. So. I guess the third shot of the day, we got in my car and we rolled around, dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm just riding through the hood, man. Throwing the deuces up to people, man. Saying what's up, what's happening, hollering. You know what I'm saying? And uh, from now, you know, we came back here. And now we about to, what we about to do is all my partner who I went to elementary school, high school with, we finna get on the bikes, man, and ride through the hood on the bikes. You know, like we used to do in the old days. You know, we all used to ride bikes and hustle. That's what we do around here. We ride bikes, right? With what? Excuse me. That's what I used to do around here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's what I used to do around here. You know, instead of standing in one spot, we all wait because it's side streets and it's so much money around. So you know, we usually ride we ride bikes around. You dig what I'm saying? Hey, look, we gonna ride on up to the top of Baker Road, hey, and then we gonna ride back down. Hey, I, I lead the way. Yeah, when we get up there, we'll post up. You know what I'm saying? We'll post up and let the camera and let the camera catch up. What's that? This was the end of the beef between Shorty Law and T.I., at least publicly. People say that they uh, settled things behind the scenes. And uh, T.I. went on to be one of the biggest uh, rap stars in the world. Shorty Law uh, went on to have a prosperous career. And uh, unfortunately, he died in 2016. R.I.P. to Shorty Law. And man, uh, let me know if y'all enjoyed this and y'all want me to do more of these. And uh, we can make it happen. Stay a part of it. Right. Hey, what's happening, people? You, we are broadcasting live from the heart of Atlanta, the middle of Bankhead Club Crucial. This is the What's Up, What's Happening video shoot. I'm so happy that you made it, man. You are logged on to the most popping site on the web, baby. Streetcred.com is a movement. If you ain't logged on here, baby, you ain't logged on nowhere. You understand that? Hey, dig that. Where else can you get inside access to such a prestigious video shoot? You know what I'm saying? Ain't no more sites here. Ain't no, my space ain't here. No disrespect. You know what I'm saying? Yahoo ain't here. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Meek Mills, man. Meek Mills, man. Feel his finest, man. You understand that? Grand Hustle, homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got we got the whole family in the house. We got Rolling Lil Duval. What you say? Bankhead all day. What you say, buddy? Bankhead all day. All the time. Bankhead all day. High five. Up, up top. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Now, look, man. You know, uh... I welcome you, man, to uh, set up your own block, man, and do your thing so you can holler at me whenever you get ready because you never know what's going to pop off on street cred, you know. Yeah, this is my block. If you heard anything else, you done heard wrong, partner. You understand that? Yeah, man. K-I-N-G, period, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, man. Hey, man, you ever need some property, come holler at me. And if you need me to front you of your first couple pieces of property, if you need me to front your first little couple pieces of property so you can get on your feet, you know what I'm saying, through the recession, just holler at me. I got you. I got enough to go around. Ain't no droughts around here. Prop property's plentiful, you know what I'm saying? But you can only get your access right here at Street Cred. So y'all do your thing while I do mine, man. And i catch y'all tomorrow at the next video shoot. And, hey, in a minute, we got free barbecue over here.